Hi guys, in a recent charity shop video I showed you I picked up this little four-wheel drive saltwater powered uh, demonstration kit, I suppose you call it, or science kit. I actually found it in the recycling centre in the bottom of a box of toys. Uh, it was missing, well it is missing, the saltwater cell and one of the gears for driving one of the wheels is missing. It's supposed to be four-wheel drive. I've actually taken another gear out, so it's only the uh, these wheels that are driven, the outside one's free wheel. And the reason I've done that is I'm going to get it to go round tethered in a circle, and I've replaced the saltwater cell with a small supercapacitor, um, 2.7 volts, 5 farads I think it is, can't quite see because it's tucked up inside there. So what I'm going to do is charge it with 3 AA batteries, which is about 4.5 volts, and just see how long it keeps going around in circles for. So I've got this clock set up here. Um, got the battery outside, so I can connect the battery up and it can start ticking round. And we'll just see how long it runs for. It'll be a pretty boring video, but that's what we're going to do. I'll move the camera so you can actually see what I'm pointing at down here, and then I'll charge it up. That should enable you to see the full circuit. The motor is in circuit all the time, so while we charge the supercapacitor, the motor will be running. Got this rather cute V8 at the front there. You might be able to hear the motor is slowly getting faster as the supercapacitor is charging up. Same technique I use on some of my model aeroplanes. Probably enough. It's not exactly a racing car, although you could put a bigger battery in it. And I'll try to get the tether point right so that it doesn't drag too much because it's trying to go in a straight line so the wheels are dragging themselves a bit. That's why the tether point is near the front because if I have it any further back then the front wheels tip up. If you look very carefully the outside front wheel is hardly turning because it's lifting off the ground. Okay, well there you go, that's all that we were showing. I didn't actually pay any attention to how long that was. I started it at uh, 12 o'clock, so uh, yeah, it's about 9 minutes that ran for. Oh no, I was chatting to begin with, wasn't I? I'll have to look back on the video. That's a microwave oven transport, uh, transformer. I'm just using that as a heavy weight to hold the pivot, which is just a paper clip. A bit of string. And then that's our salt water powered car, which I've put. Oh, we have lost the camera. There we are. 
2.7 volts, 5 farads. That's what it was running on. That'll do.